Are you too busy getting through the curriculum that you don't find the time to enrich students with well-being and creative activities? Are your students focus on memorizing content on the expense of reflective and self-expressive of ideas and thoughts? Are your teaching staff ever feel burned out and overwhelmed to the point their mental health is being affected? Well, thanks for attending my talk. I'm a bit nervous, if you can hear. My name is Revi, and I'm the CEO and co-owner of DIA, the Art of Creative Thinking. My journey with DIA started 13 years ago, where I'm from. Anyone get there to guess from my accent? Big shock, I'm not from here originally. Um, that was from Israel. So I would go from school to school on my motorbike, inspiring and challenging young minds to creative thinking workshops that were challenging, interactive, and yet simple and really clever. And I felt like as I found my callings. But Australia was calling as well. So I made the decision to move here and bring a fresh perspective to the creative arts. But before I moved, the creative brain behind Dia, her name is Diti, and she asked me a very interesting question. Would you like to bring Dia to Australian schools? Well, the seed has been planted. And after thousands of sessions and continue to lead creative journeys to many Australians, including educational and its unique curriculum and commercial needs. So I wanted to talk to you about our founder, Diti. Um, Diti has a master's degree in visual literacy. She designed the Children Illustration Library at the Jerusalem Museum. She also worked with the Ministry of Education of Israel, include the Department of Gifted Children. And she came up with this unique model that was recognized by the National Teaching Academy called DIA, the Art of Creative Thinking model. Through this model and heightened level of training our staff undergo, we are able to, to help nourish students into confident, innovative, and self-thinking individuals. The Australia disrupt habitual thinking to reward for new, to trigger new and rewarding perspective, a powerful ingredient to achieve success in late stage adult life. We stand with the education sector in nurturing the brightest mind to face an ever changing world. So DIA has been operating for 22 years and worked with hundreds of educational institute and schools. Now I want you to present to you a few simple facts and data around the importance of creative thinking in schools and to shape young minds. I know that teacher and educational leader love data and learning outcome and evidence-based, but how do you measure the effectiveness of a creative thinking activity? Well, we'll try to touch that next with a case study. But be first, before, um, I just wanted to ask you, did you know that 84% of, of parents recognize the importance of creativity? So that can be anything from music, dancing, creative writing, everything that you can self-express, and obviously visual arts like painting and sculpturing. Also that creativity is the top three skills of the future. One of, um, we have also number two, crea uh, critical thinking. We have complex problem solving. We have emotional intelligence. Everything is connected to the right side of the brain, the creative brain. So it's not just the creativity, it's a big, big umbrella that has a lot of skills under it. And then the third one, and it's no surprise for anyone, is the really, really hot topic at the moment, top challenges teacher facing managing well-being and stress. So, from hundreds and hundreds of sessions we've done, it was hard to choose, but I decided to focus on something we did during COVID that I thought would be very relevant. How do you get 500 individuals to express themselves personally and integrate collectively during pandemic in a virtual studio. So, 400, uh, so 24 classes with 450 year nine students plus their staff from all of Halle Berry's campuses in Melbourne. 
engage in a collaborative, thought-provoking and meaningful inspired art project. The goal of the, of the project, conducted online while student was working from home, was to enhance students' independent skill by utilizing a practical art workshop as a vehicle, specifically to encourage them to explore and reveal their inner selves, both as individuals as well as integrated collective. The feedback from staff and students was overwhelmingly positive, identifying this pioneer program developed by DIA to motivating students to maximize their responsibility and expressing themselves for both an intimate and collaborative dialogue. So how did we implement the DIA creative thinking model in this project? So I'm gonna walk you through the component and how we actually did that. So the first component is to observe at an eye level. We accept that students are individual and as such, they bring preformed and biased thoughts into creative classes. To combat that, we observe different styles of artwork to develop flexibility of thoughts and borders perspective. Here, we provide tools to break free from fear and encourage artistic creation without limitations. The second one is to doubt at a deep level. We are surrounded by technology, as you can see, technology, <laughs> that we all love but sometimes fail us, that automated things for us. We call it convenience, but when it comes to strong creative thinking skills, we must allow room for the unconventional. So here, what we do, we inspire true innovation and, and nourishes creativity as we accept there could be a range of appropriate responses, not just one. And now, the last component, which I think is the most important in the DIA model, and something you will experience in a second, and that to experience at my level. So as we inspire and nourish the creative outcomes that pour from students, we help each individual's contribution to be understood and embraced by their classmates, and most important, themselves. Here we support the uniqueness of thought as we celebrate the diverse ways each student has expressed their ideas and shaped an original thought. So confident through self-thinking is the goal. And now, as Diti likes to say, you can't just talk about creativity, you must fully experience it. And I have Ali here, and she will do um, a little exercise with you together. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to embrace mistakes and we enjoy a process without worrying about the results. Now, if you feel a bit out of your comfort zone, just remember that your students get in out of their comfort zone every day. So now it's your time to try something new. Even if you only teach biology and you don't think you need creativity, this is your time. But this is really, really fun and I'm sure you would love it. Okay, so grab your, everyone have postcard and a marker, great. Now I see some eager a student here already open your marker, but I want you to close it for a second. First of all, I want us to do a little bit of kind of like warm up, kind of thinking, yeah, just move. Kind of go with your shoulder, good job. Let's kind of think and open up and treat our, the muscles that we're working with. We're all very, very stiff. Great, okay, so you're feeling it? Great. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do, first of all, we're gonna plan. So we're gonna do a continuous line. We're gonna do a portrait, it can be any portrait. The goal and the challenge is not to lift your marker. So you need to do everything in one line. So as you can see, um, Ali has started. You can start at any point, but what I want you to do, can I have a marker? Just a sec, thanks. I want you just to do a planning first, okay? So with your marker closed, look at your page and decide where you're gonna start with. Are you gonna start with the eye and go up the eyebrow, the forehead? Are you gonna start from the ear maybe and go down to the jawline? and go for the chin. Try to go big and not a tiny, tiny one, especially if you're very perfectionist, go big, go big. 
I have more postcard. Worst case, I'll give you another one, okay? And, and now, if you're ready, let's start. So you start with one point, open your markers. You can start with one point, and then you continue in. It can be a portrait, it can be a full face, but try to get as much on the paper. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go around and see how you go. And if you did lift it, just, can, just put it back and continue. Don't overthink it. Good, take your time and you can repeat lines. How are we going? Anyone wants more? Are you feel really inspired? Do you want to make 10? Oh, that's great. Awesome. Very cool. So this, this actually activity was inspired by Picasso. Um, uh, after this session, if you want to Google Picasso continuous line. So as much as he had this amazing art practice and he could draw anything, he was able to do a simple line and it become a cat and it's just amazing. So Google that. Um, okay, can you all show me what you've done? Maybe shout, be creative. Be creative. No one shouting. <laughs> Woo! Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. I know you're busy and you have a lot to do and see in this summit. Um, so take your activity, uh, what you've done home, obviously. But if this tickles your, creative, your creativity and you want another experience, then come meet us at stall 06 when Ali, me and Desi will be there and you can do another thing to take home. Might as well. So thanks, um, thanks for attending. Come meet us in the stall and learn how the Australia can integrate easily in your school curriculum to protect professional health of, teacher, of teachers and raising the brightest mind of the future. Thank you. Any questions, by the way? Any questions?